What's up guys, David here for another quick little video and as you see behind me is the Smurf thing. Again, I know I was pretty content with what I had on my setup of my car, which I totally was, but at the same time I thought about the minor things I could do to the car and kind of build up from there. And since the 240 is getting so much love, why not get some love for Smurf? So what I did was to decrease the body roll of these cars is get Steeda fully adjustable sway bars. We're going to install them and see what happens, so let's get to it. So for this install, of course, the first thing you do is to make sure you put your car on jack stands. Once your car is lifted up and on the jack stands, you then go for the end links. By the way, this is much easier if you remove the rear wheels, but we totally made our lives harder for ourselves. You're gonna remove four 15 millimeter nuts and there are two on each axle mount. Make sure you have a socket or a tool to hold down one of the sides of the nuts or it's just gonna be spinning freely. It's overall pretty simple. And once you get these bolts out, you can pretty much drop the rear sway bar. When you sit and compare the stock sway bar to the new sway bar by Steeda, you can definitely tell the difference. Now the next part is putting on the new end links. Now putting these end links together at first can seem a little complicated, but it's very, very simple. So you take the end links supplied by Steeda and you put them over the new sway bar. Then you also take the bushings, which you need to make sure you grease them down really good with the provided grease. You can definitely tell that Steeda did a lot of time and research on making sure the sway bar fit perfectly. However, when you put the bushings in the in links and whatnot, it can get a little tricky, so you probably will have some trial and error. Cut to a few days later, we ran out of daylight and we decided to do the front sway bar another day. So we definitely took the wheels off this time and it made all the difference. Now one thing you do have to do is take off the oil pan tray, which is really simple to take off. It's only a few nuts and bolts. Then you get to the stock end link and once you unbolt that, you'll notice it hangs like this. So the end link is where you're going to adjust the use of the sway bar. You have three options. Then once again, you pull out the stock sway bar and then you do the nice little comparison test. You can really see just how much better the Steeda sway bar is. Steeda also supplies some brand new brackets and some new bushings. So once again, make sure to use the grease they provided pretty generously. As you can tell, Roxy was not impressed. Then you just pretty much put everything in reverse order. You put the whole car back together, you choose your setting you want, and then you go for a drive. We use the middle option because it's a good equal medium for daily driving. The instant response is pretty staggering. As you see here, the chassis is extremely stiff with hardly any body roll. Shoot even with one hand, it made it super easy to get a really direct response. The car totally drives beautifully at back roads and it was totally worth the time and effort. Sway bars have always been one of those things I was a little iffy about, but they are the real deal and I am very impressed. Once again guys, have an awesome day and thanks for watching.